Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm Joe Boric, and now I can call this the latest MLB offseason update as it seems like spring training teams are going to be replacing report as soon as tomorrow. I have to report within three days, according to Bob Nightingale. But the free agent signings and trade talk now begins as the CBA has been agreed upon, as I said in my last video. And also, full season, full pay season will be extended three days with double headers to make up for April 7th opening day according to the great Bob Nightingale. Before I continue on this MLB update, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to help us grow to 215 by the end of March. But let's get into it as on top of reporting the latest on that, there's going to be a full season. There's going to be doubleheaders, nine-inning doubleheaders, by the way. And there's going to be no changes to the extra inning rules. Let's get into some guys that are very interesting on the free agent market. Um... Somebody that, <coughs> excuse me, is going to be intensely interesting is Seiya Suzuki from Japan, who played great in the Nippon League, uh, 317, 433, 636. But um, apparently, like, from just reading a bunch of different stuff on him, uh, he's one of those guys that is an all-tool player that's able to get it done, whether it's uh, being able to be a great fielder, being able to be a great hitter. I'm not really sure how quick he is in terms of um, steals and all that, but it seems like he's at least a four-tool player that's able to kind of play in all facets, field well, hit well for contact, have a good amount of bombs as well, 182 homers, 400, or 562 RBIs in his career. But again, as I said in my video I did for hockey, stats are just a, a first thing. Eyesight is the main thing you have to see, and of course, I didn't watch him uh, that much yet, obviously, I only seen different highlights and a couple videos I was able to see of, like, just his, people grading his overall play in English overall, and that made me see that he's a pretty solid, well-rounded player, great contact hitter, can add some pop in your lineup, also is, um, able to move a little bit, so you have that, um, he's able to field extensively well, so I think Suzuki, uh, he's gonna be a guy, that a lot of people are going to want because he's a great fielding outfielder, a guy with a solid arm, and also is just going to immediately be a spark in a lineup. And a guy that some teams can afford, like the A's, the Rays, especially with the Rays CBT and the new CBA, teams can afford a guy like him that aren't the mega, mega teams that won't want to pay for the Rizzos of the world, the Freemans of the world. Um, obviously, those guys aren't outfielders, but even the Confortos of the world, because Conforto from already be, being proven what he is in the MLB, will probably get an overlining contract over Suzuki. And Suzuki was great in Japan, but you still got to see what he is here because what he is statistically is great. And then what he's seen from scouts talking about and stuff I've been able to read, they reported he's a very good uh, fielder, hitter, and just well-rounded player, so great. I think he's one of the top free agents remaining, but I don't think he'll get paid more than Michael Conforto, so he's more in that affordable category. And the reason I bring up Michael Conforto is since this is going to be a double outfielder video, he's the other guy I wanted to mention where last year, a little struggle bunny, 15 or 14 homers, excuse me, two uh, for two base hits, doubles, he had 20 and 55 RBIs, 232, 344, and 384, uh, an OPS of 729. Um, Conforto, though, has in his uh, career been a very solid to me, fielder, especially in the corner positions, not as much in center. But in the corner positions, he's been a very solid fielder who has a solid, accurate arm and also can add good pop to your lineup. I never expect Michael Conforto, like say a Suzuki coming from Japan as a well-rounded average hitter, that can also add some extra pop for you while being a good fielder. Conforto never has been that great average for average hitter. He's been more add pop, add some more BI, as like a B-level player in your lineup. And that's a very nice thing to have. And for a team like the Phillies that needs a corner outfielder, Kutch was basically just pop at the end of his tenure. Conforto's more of a 25 to 32 home run guy. Kutch is more of just a 18 to 20 guy at this point. If you're adding more pop in there, in his best seasons, he has 80 to 85 RBI potential in my mind. So I think he's a good guy to add for a team like that. Even a team, um, <clears throat> if you're looking, even a team like maybe if the Marlins are trying to be uh, pretty competitive, uh, bring in another guy like Conforto that adds a uh, great hitting ability to your team 
and, and even more power. If you're a team like the Cardinals, you want to add even more pop in your line. They don't really need an outfielder, but the DH and everything, that opens up the Spears as well. So maybe Conforto is an option there. Uh, he's a guy that adds a lot of pop and also adds fielding ability, so he doesn't have to be a DH. If you're a team like the Brewers, bringing in somebody like him could be smart. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's a guy that goes quickly off the boards because he's not going to be to the tiers of the Correas of the world, um, the tiers of the the uh, stories of the world, and all those guys that are remaining, the Freddie Freemans of the world, that you're going to have to work out the logistics of the deal a little bit more just because of the total money and everything. Where well, I think with the Seiyo Suzuki and the uh, Michael Confortos, it might be able to be agreed upon a little bit quicker just because they're not going to have those behemoth of contracts compared to those other cats. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the most recent MLB update. As I gave you the update on the MLB season being 162 games, they're going to have nine inning double headers. No more extra inning, crappy second baseman, ghost runner rule. Back to regular extra inning rules. And we talked about Michael Conforto and Seiya Suzuki as remaining free agents as we are now out of the lockout and baseball is back. Peace out, everybody. Please do subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use way.